Goldalin Kakuya was on top of the world. With 455 marks out of 500, the 14-year-old was crowned the top candidate in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examinations 2017, beating almost a million other candidates who sat the exam. Members of staff at St. Anne's Lubao Junior School and the community in Shinyalu, Kakamega County, elated by the news. It's for the first time this place has produced a best people in this country. The teenager who had traveled from Iten where she was spending the holidays shielded her skin from the sun with a hood. She is living with albinism and through the years she found support and encouragement at the school. I Rafiki ambao walikuwa very supportive na na fraya sana na shukuru sana and though her family and friends had hoped she would do well they hardly dared to believe she would top the country i told her you will lead this country did i tell you that yes and she has done it mtoto wangu amekuwa akifanya vizuri kuchuleni mara mingi kama ameperform vibaya sana ni number 2 akina amekuwa namba 1 tangu zamani so yangu nimekuwa tu nikimenikarage kwamba soma na bidii Goldalin, one of the special needs students who posted stunning performances in this year's KCPE. You can see the fruits of that presidential special needs education focus because this year, our special needs candidates have produced six of the top 100 candidates in the country. And these two will go into our national schools, especially the ones that are integrated. The top candidate harboring ambitious dreams. I love talking to people. I love people opening up. I love anything related to the cycle, anything related to the mind. So that's what has driven me to dream about. <laughs> The Ministry of Education has pledged to intensify its support for special needs students as it rolls out free secondary education next year. Wilkis Anyabwa, The Big Question.